It's the 100,000 subscriber special. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys. A few weeks ago now, YouTube sent me through a 100K subscriber certificate, along with this accompanying letter. I don't mind telling you, it's been quite a ride. My YouTube journey has never been a rocketing accomplishment, but more a testament to persistence. I'm often asked by new YouTubers for a secret to success, and I've always had to say, I've no idea, because I've yet to find one. But what I do always recommend is very simple. Do what you love and keep doing it. So today I'm going to be doing just that. A little CAD work, lots of 3D printing, and ultimately some metal casting, because these are some of the things I love doing. I've made a lot of friends along the way, and one of them is Alexander, who, amongst others, has taught me an awful lot about metal casting. This is his website, and I'm happy to show off his talents as a small gesture of gratitude. In fact, it was this very ring that inspired, in part, today's project. If you've ever seen the film 300, then you may know the legendary tale of 300 Spartans holding back 100,000 Persians for three days thanks to strategic positioning and a never-give-up mentality. So I decided to create a Spartan ring design, and what better place to start than with a standard ancient Greek shield? which, I'll admit, I decorated a little to give it more interest. But for me, this was still a little dull, so I opted to add a stylized Spartan helmet. Whilst this felt better, it still didn't grab me, so I added a little battle damage. On the inside was the head of Zeus, as seen on Greek coins of the same period. But I later changed my mind about this, when designing anything, prototyping is a big part of it. So I 3D printed it using the Anycubic D2 DLP, which for me can't be beat for accuracy at the amateur end of the market. Together with the Anycubic Craftsman Grey Resin, it works beautifully and shows details really well. Now, I liked it, but it still felt a little off. It lacked something, but I had no idea what. So I turned to Tomas Fiddlesback, one of the tutors at the ZBrush Jewelry Workshop. I've mentioned this organisation to you several times. It's where I learnt my ZBrush skills. It's packed with hundreds of educational videos, a forum full of helpful members, and critically, access to industry experts. It's not cheap, though of course I've managed to wangle a hefty discount for my viewers, see the description for details, but it's a one-off fee with lifelong membership. And if you're serious about learning ZBrush, I don't think you can do better. Tomas is one of these experts, and makes himself available to all members for live online critique. Now, any kind of criticism can be hard to hear, especially when Tomas was wrong and I was completely right. <clears throat> but strictly to appease him, I listened to his silly notions to fill out the helmet and give the ring more depth. So I made a paltry attempt at this and printed it. And then I raised it a little more. Okay, this was starting to look better. So I raised it even more and I fell in love with it. After all, a prominent helmet gives us all a real sense of pride. And it's amazing how the guidance of an expert like Tomas can make a massive difference and truly lift your design. There's obviously a little bit more to it than I'm saying here, but what I can say is that he's a designer to the Hollywood elite for a reason. And again, let me stress, Tomas offers his advice and instructions to all ZBJW members. It was upon seeing this last prototype that my son saw it and told me that he wanted one as well. 
that meant prototyping yet another to get the sizing right. And as you can see, whilst he's even taller than me now, he doesn't share his father's girth. Or, as Alexander very kindly put it to me the other day, we're not all built like a character from Warcraft. Yes, it's good to have friends. Anyway, I decided this was going to be a silver casting, so I ordered a little casting grain. I printed it, of course, on the Anycubic D2, and used the Soraya Tech Cast Purple Castable Resin. I know that I've shown several types and brands to you guys, and whilst I'm not a massive fan of this purple colour, I still find it hard to beat the printing and casting quality of this resin, easily obtainable on Amazon. The idea of a Spartan shield really appealed to me for this project. To a Spartan warrior, there was nothing more important. In battle, he could lose his armour, his spear and even his sword. But he could not lose his shield. To do so was to lose his honour, because to a Spartan, the shield wasn't just for defending him. Part of it was dedicated to protecting the warrior at his side. So a battered shield, marked by swords, arrows and spears, was an indication of a life saved. The life of his brother Spartan. I normally wear gloves at this point. I am wearing eye protection and a dust mask, but stupidly I forgot gloves. My son wanted his ring kept plain. On mine, I wanted to deepen all the details with liver of sulphur. Many might like this blackened look as it is. I was very tempted, but instead I polished off the unwanted sections with a soft silicon bit. And this is the finished result, and genuinely I'm thrilled with it. It's not only my favourite CAD design, at least until the next project I do, but I feel that these are the best castings I've done so far. I'm genuinely delighted with the results, I truly am. And if you want one of your very own, cast by professionals in solid silver, you can buy them online at the ZBJW store. International shipping is available, and I guarantee the quality will be better than anything that I can produce. On the inside of the ring, I added a sword, a spear, and the words, with your shield or on it, which are the words commonly believed to be said to Spartans off to battle. Again, this highlights the significance of the shield, and many take it to mean, don't give up, never surrender. A Spartan returning with his shield was victorious. One without it was dishonoured. And one returning dead, carried on his shield, had never given up and never surrendered. On my casting, you can make these words out. But they stand out much more prominently on the professional version. I even added a small shield as a strike plate on the band. Something that I personally couldn't do on my casting. The price starts at $225, depending on the size, and I wish I could tell you that I was getting all that money, but I'm not. I get a little bit, ZBJW will get a little bit as well, as they'll be handling things and doing all the postage, etc. But the vast bulk will go to the casting company, because quality isn't cheap. 
But if you want to celebrate 100,000 subscribers with me, if you want to share the never give up, keep going, do what you love message that I hope I'm conveying on my channel, then here's one possible way. But regardless of that, I hope you've enjoyed this celebration video. My thanks have to go to all my subscribers, especially those with the staying power to have been with me since the early days. Take care guys, and thanks for watching.